it doesn't really matter how flash your primary health care service is or what kind of staff you have within it, if Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander men don't walk through your doors to uh, utilise your services, then the health of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander men will remain where it is, and that's at the bottom of the chain. My name is Kusa Kanuta, I did my PhD at the University of Adelaide. Uh, I'm now doing my postdoc at Wadley Paringa Aboriginal Health Equity Theme here at Semri. My two areas of research are utilisation of primary health care services by Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander men and the roles and responsibilities of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander male parents. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander men are the lowest utilisers of primary health care services for reasons varied and complex. Developing and implementing services that you know, engage men culturally, appropriately, um, it's, it's very important. Our research found that um, little things like opening up on the weekend once a month will be good so men can go there. Having a service come out to the men, you know, to their work site or out to the community so they have to come all the way in. Providing some transport. You know, some communities are you know, hundreds of kilometres away from a primary health care service or some communities, you eat 5Ks. If it's 40 degrees outside, you're not going to walk 5Ks to go to a doctor. We're not talking about millions and millions of dollars, we're talking just like tweaking a thing here and there. The Strong Dads, Strong Futures project that we just completed come on the back of two Aboriginal women who um, sourced the funding for it and were the real driving force behind the whole project really. We went out to the community and we talked to the men about their roles and responsibilities as parents. And when I say parents, I don't just mean biological father, I mean within the kinship system. Some of these men were telling us that this is the first time they've ever been involved in anything to do with parenting. It was uh, the first time that they were able to speak with other men about what they're doing and what's been going on, where they could go and do other things, uh, how they can access services. It's a great project that Cootsie is leading, providing us men with those opportunities to be involved with some of the issues that we face as Aboriginal men. It's, it's good that our voices are starting to be heard and hopefully we can play a bigger role in, in that space and, and provide for our families in the ways that we would like to. When community members come up to me and tell me that, Coots, you're going all right, you know, we like this, any chance you could try and talk about this stuff or work out this? The community involving me in that way as a researcher, um, that makes me most proud. I just care that the, what I'm doing is making a difference for those within the community I'm in. So as long as they're happy with what I'm doing and I'm doing it the right way according to them, then that's it, I'm proud.